coming up. So I'm ready. Have you ever heard the uh, Shirley Bassey version of the party starting? No. It's so good. Then the next question comes to, do, do you even know who Shirley Bassey is? <laughs> the name sounds familiar. Well, um, yeah, I think she did Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Yeah. Bassey. Diamonds are forever. I'm sure that, like, when she, whoever, uh, manages Pink's sort of like, hey, Pink, uh, uh, Shirley Bassey would like to cover your song. Can we get, is it okay we get permission? She'd be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's right, I have all of you here. All right. Let's do some bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gender nonconformists, he, she's, and they's. Welcome Bitches to Bears and Bros Dragons. and all you non-binary hoes. Welcome to Bears and Dragons, the show where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the episode before a nice five-day weekend for me, as I have tomorrow off, and uh, uh, the American Independence Day is on Monday, which gives me two extra days of off. So, That's what a way time. to start the weekend! <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, what happened previously on Bears and Dragons? He discovered a possible side plot with the two running factions of this area and a pit of, of doom that's waiting for us. I mean, it's on a hill. It goes up. The I'm hill not sure of doom pit is waiting for us. <laughs> it's Fight a fenced-in doom. Um, Hallie swung an axe at me. I remember that. Because <laughs> I polymorphed myself by accident. It it got it. It was true to character, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially with things that have recently happened to her. I'm missing a single point of HP because of it. Oh, be darned. All right, so you guys just uh, kill, uh, completed a couple side quests or side quest. Uh, killed a few creatures, uh, brought it back to uh, Basidia to reanimate the. Which one was it? We got to um, the. We met the circles. The the. Greg Alpha. The... Yeah, the Greg Alpha. Yeah. And I'm just going through the log. Shambling mound. Shambling mound. 
Assembly mode is now compost. Rick Alpha is just going to be, uh, you know, reanimated. That's all. It's going to be a little more pale. Yeah. So here you are, gather around in your little hovel after. A oh, hovel. It's not even a hovel. This is kind of like our makeshift area. camp. Make, your <laughs> makeshift camp. Oh, good. I can move everybody. Um. <clears throat> so after the whole fight the last monster we did we go to bed or something or no we're I think we were marching our way up the hill because last time we were considering attacking during the night or waiting till the day when they were letting us up there and I think we decided on waiting for the day then you decide to go on a side quest to waste resources I mean, I didn't. Did we though? Or spend Did resources. We? Spend resources. That's probably a better a better way of putting it. Did we though? Maybe. I don't know. I have lots of resources. Did they did cantrips? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't um say no to a little uh, short rest. I don't mind if the rest don't. I can get my single HP back. Sure. Well, here. I might be able to help you with that. One second. Let me check. Because I can do something on a short rest. With my kicking feet. I think we lost win. Oh, there he is. He came back. I think that was you. Oh. You blink out of my screen then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Internet's oh, fixed, so no, it's not that. Or it should be that. Your your portrait faded off of Roll20 for a second. And now your video is gone. We'll go to an extra BA of healing, but I don't really need that right now. Do you take short rest? Yes. Sure. Um, I'm sorry. Um, did you do something during the short rest that I missed? I'm sorry. Who? You. No, I was going to, but oh. it's really not needed. Cause, well, actually, Holly can take it. So, yeah. Does anyone else need, like, more health than what their hit die would do? Yeah. Nope, I'm good. Alright, I'll make a treat for Holly so she gets an extra D8 when she does a hit die. Didn't one of the NPCs go down? Nope. Alright, I, I think they were healed Maybe up one. Let me double check here. Because I see a lot of healing up here. Healing word. Somebody got healed a lot. Yeah, Holly got max on her hit di her hit die, so she's not gonna need a treat. Well, I'm never gonna bother rolling because one HP. No, I think they're all fun. Okay. Well, then I guess after our rest, we will let them take us up to the hill. If anyone else wants to do anything else before that. Any preparation? Each. And make sure to 
pop out Silva and have her on my shoulder. So she's around. Do we know what we're expecting at all? We know that this hill has a bunch of reanimated corpses. They're just servants. Like, we're, we're being they're given going to try to... I think they're going to so, try and add Just to remind you what the arcane eye saw. There was a uh, low muttering... Muttering... Uh, grows louder as you reach the top. Uh, turning into a symphony of moans, cries, and hisses. The only light comes from a few glowing mushrooms along the edge, but even in the gloom, you can't miss the source of the sounds. The heads of creatures of a dozen humanoid underdark races peek from the ground, mold and fungi growing around them. Just lovely. <laughs> All right. Well. I'm ready. Are you still? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. good. So I guess we will approach the center and let them take us up. Uh, Rito says, yes, welcome. Come this way. And takes you on over to here and just kind of like motions up the path where you see the tool two chul sur uh, sports servants move out of the way. Walk this way. I'll just assume that everybody is falling. Yeah. Alright. As you get up here, one voice calls out loudly in Undercommon. Anybody speak Undercommon? It's up there. Up there. Right now, I, I only see Laster and Syra. We're all up there. Where are you, Karad? I don't see you. I do not know. I do not speak. Oh, okay. I see you now. Well, I, I kind of see you now. There's like nameplates in the way. I know very little on under common. Uh, oh. So you hear a uh, female drow fighting to speak. Please, for the gods of light, kill me. He manages to stir within her living grave, raising a spider medallion half embedded in the bloated growth that was once her hand. Half her face is rotten and pustulate. Pustulate. A bed of the sprouting of spores of tiny mushrooms. Great cedar. Trap. She's here. The lady of decay. Zuckdmoy. Sarah's like, I knew it. <laughs> um, I'm going to look back at... Uh, let's see. I might have to... Is Sereth acting strangely? Coming uh, close he's, to he's looking very giddily. I tell them what Giddy. she says. He's looking giddy? Yeah. He's like, oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's so exciting. Sereth, maybe maybe you should should sit this one out. No, 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 no. no. I, I must come. you to be here. Must come. Must be here. This is where we need to be. Yes. Yes. Um. I'll I'll say to Ron, I, I'm really getting a, the feeling that we should probably get rid of this guy. I mean, do you want to do it here? No, uh, no. Nah, I'm just saying for future reference, we can mm -hmm. come back and say that. I felt like this was a good, bad idea. I told you. I told you. Yeah, pretty much like that. <laughs> There's this moldy drow currently uh, trying to 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 reach out with the, the spider medallion in her hand. 
hold. Uh, Does it look like she's trying to cast a spell? Or is she just holding No, it, it looks like she's trying to hand something to you and give you forewarning. Oh, uh, I'll step down, kneel to her level. Uh, one second, let me make sure what I have planned to do, I could do. Can I religion check the medallion while he's reaching for it? As I sure. reach out for the the medallion, I pull out the um, drow dagger that's in the bag of holding that we got. It's a medallion of uh, uh, holy, the holy symbols of Lolf. The, the the check was pretty low, considering you uh, hap happen to have been captured by uh, Lolf worshippers before, you know, that drow worship Lolf, or the general populace down here in the Underdark. Taking the um, elven, the drow dagger out of the bag, as I am take the medallion, I'll stab her in the heart. Take, take this to my people. And warned. <laughs> they will be warned. Rest. <laughs> you hear this awful sound coming from the north. Let's go. As this big mass of meat <laughs> seems to see what how did, how did it looks like a fungal larva slithering along the ground there's like mold and lichen grows in hypnotic patterns along its ridge stuck and it puffs clouds and spores from a slit resembling a mouth Is it? Are are the pit of of the reanimated like reacting to his presence? As uh, it's, it starts moving towards you, um, you see coming out of the shadows uh, some crazed looking myconids, as, as well as some drow bodies that are being, seem to be animated, but covered in mushrooms and fungi and lichen. Did we are coming for you. Did we defend ourselves? Best um, be. <laughs> I mean, might be a good idea. Just hey, I, so. I felt, I felt like I was in danger, but you, sometimes my feelings are wrong. So, <laughs> so at this, at the side of this, what's Sarah doing? Uh, he is currently screaming in agony. Is it screaming? Uh, additional box text. The moans of the garden victims suddenly take on a new tone of fear as something moves across the foul ground. A disgusting larval creature rises up before you showing only vestigial fungal growths that hint that it might once have been a myconid. Welcome, travelers. The Alvin myconid's voice gurgles and spits as it speaks, only a lot, both aloud and in your minds at once. Are you here for the wedding rehearsal? Friends of the bride, or who intended? No matter. Let the love of the great healer embrace you. As you become one with the chosen, the great body. 
There, that's a better way of doing exactly what it just did before. Right. I'm fine how I am, thank you. I think they're talking about you, Holly. Uh, <laughs> and we need to have uh, Gage on there still. Gage not on the board? Nope. I mean, on the initiative. Oh, I, yeah, I haven't rolled. I haven't rolled for anybody yet. I'm, I'm getting my okay. sheets up. Okay, here comes the fun part. All right. Token. And for some reason, the Chul spor sto uh, Spore Servants actually followed, uh, moved in behind you and just like disappeared down the ramp. They're not part of this combat. Alright, let's see where. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I have Gage on, uh, on the map either. for gauge because it didn't roll for gauge oh that's because we had a whole bunch of earlier ones okay hold on I'm gonna remove all this I would I just need you to, to get yourself back on there uh, and then update your your I had an 18 before yeah, just go ahead and update your... Oops. Uh, uh, and turn... Silver hole. Silver hole of what? Little. 
Y... I've had so much hope in Rot so far, but he he tends to be the most useless. He uh, just didn't want to be here. His role of the most shit is all NPCs. Oh, and then of course Sarah. Can't forget Sarah. That would just be silly. He's gonna kill us. Probably. Alright. We got Jim Jar going first. You're just gonna mm. All right, come here. I'm gonna have a couple of daggers out. Yeah, and he'll just go in. One. Oh, that will hit. No sneak attack, just a set. Uh, bonus action attack again. Put his offhand. That does not hit. Oh, it. Come here. Take a couple slacks. Get them on, sir. No, it takes a slack with their long sword. And then misses. Tyra? Tyra will. Reach for Silver on her shoulder and place a spell on her. And I will cast a third level Dragon's Breath on her. And then extend and then fling her up into the air, draw my sword, and start my blade sending. And I will two, three, four, five. Just to kinda of draw them away from everybody else. That's my turn. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Pretty feet. Mm -hmm. Squish, squish, squish. Yeah, I'll just come up here and make a slam attack. Welcome to the gym. Miss. And that's his turn. Lasseter. Okay, uh, are these enemies 
Yeah, they're yeah. they're um, uh, fungally animated drow. Yeah. Um, I will move over here and Eldritch Blast this guy. Yeah. Um, both, both thingies. 14. This. That is. 14. Oh. Uh, you blast it over. Huh? You oh. blast it over. Um, that's my turn. Sarah screams in agony. Oh. Watch as the drow's head splits open, releasing a cloud of infecting spores. Some bitch. Sarah? As an R series. Yep. Yep. Cool. You became one of those things from The Last of Us. <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> um. Is does he? Is he dead? <laughs> sort of. Uh. Well, he looks like a fungal mess right now. So. Debatable. His, his head is split open like Yeah, it's like covered with a mass of red spores and fungus. Okay. Uh and he takes out his short sword, because he has one. Why didn't we take and those he, from them? And he stabs Krad at Krad. Oh. I'm assuming a seven misses. Yeah. Who was in charge of security? You were. Fuck. All right, stool. It's time for Stool to show us his war face. He's too cute to have a, a war face. He has little nubbin legs. Is this seconds after the uh, talking to Ron about Sarah's? Pretty much. Wow. So, stool. Sarah's snacks and just breaks it off. 
pulls out uh, pulls out his glove, but kind of clutches it. Uh, clutches it and kind of shivers, and a burst of spores kind of like envelop him, as if like a a almost like a just like this. It's almost like floating body armor, almost. It just kind of like encases him from from head to toe. It just kind of like floats there. Is it like a halo? Yeah, it's like a halo of spores. Uh, I gained 16 temporary HP. Did he just get boosted plot armor? Uh, no. He's spore druiding. He comes up and says, "Stop it!" and start and tries to whack at the adult. He just uh, misses. <laughs> When did he get a club? He became a druid. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sadly, he didn't realize that it's not a great weapon for him. <laughs> Prince oh. Darendel. Come up here. Oh wait, no, that's there. Uh, why can't I see the? Oh, there it is. Uh, speed forty. Okay, that works. Oh no, not there. One here. That's all. Come up here and oh, big advantage. You make a couple cloth. I'm gonna make a claw attack. Uh, that's not what I need. That'll hit. Five points of damage. And bonus action. Let's just do one more. Eight points of damage. Ah, uh, that uh, adult is looking pretty rough. Ollie. All right. Bees are gonna close up here. Is it gonna rage? I need a deck save. I'm missing that, that fails. fails. It takes five lightning damage. Ooh, nice. One of the better rolls. <laughs> yeah. We are going to. Great weapon master reckless this bitch. Oh, so that. Yeah, twenty-one. Takes a good chunk out of this fungal mass. And we're going to great weapon master for the second one. That's gonna miss. And complete. And she completely miss. Uh, some spores. First Don't you have advantage? Just kind of like, kind of got her in her way. Hmm. Don't you have advantage because you're reckless? I'm just attack only. I mean, yeah, if you if you reckless attack, it is it is for the entire turn. It's a big advantage. I mean, so one more. Roll again. 
That'll hit. With the minus five? Yes. So, 18. Okay. So, plus 10 to that. Where did he shout? Nice. Tommy runs up to, to this massive fungus and just, like, chops away with it. She, right now, is a uh, chef chopping up some mushrooms. Come over here. Uh, go choo as Dawnbringer lights up. Jeez. Uh, this is not undead, so only 14. Uh, Kale's the adult. But he has more than one attack. Over here. Actually, where was he? He was here before, so. You just need to calculate maybe. maybe here before. No. Um, Yeah, it's exactly 30 feet. So he did, it does some uh, sneaky maneuvers. Goes around, slashes uh, apart the mic and an adult, moves over to to this one. Attack. Oh, that was the initiative roll. Advantage. Try that again. Play seven will hit. Does quite a good chunk of damage there, but that undead kind of monster is still alive. Crad, spore servants, uh, spore servant here, spore servant here, and another making an adult here, and a Syra here. <laughs> and Syra, yeah, so. Cyrus. Cyrus. So, because. Uh, just took a Sarah, swing at you and missed. Yeah. But they took a swing. He's gonna, like, clap his hands together and then just pull out a flame blade. And is going to do that at third level and attack him. Because you fuck that shit. That'll hit. He can kill him. All right. We're gonna. got any beat. Oh, that was my bonus action to cast and then attack for the action. Okay. So, that's all. Silva, that's Dragon Breath. Silva will swoop, fly past Karad. You see, feel the wind of her speed pass through you. So one, two, four. She'll get to about there, and... And she flies through, facing that way. She will unleash her dragon's breath in a 15-foot cone. And do fire damage, and it's upcast. So, it will do 46. <clears throat> and 
<clears throat> You're not very dexterous. Roll. Despite being a huge mass of mushrooms, dodges. Over the other one, I'd say it's uh, right within range. Does not. And she will do, and she'll fly by. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just kind of stay hovering over this chasm pit. Uh, you smell, oh, yeah. you, you uh, smell the smell of uh, cooking cooked mushrooms. That's her turn. down here and yeah, it doesn't know any better uh, Holly uh, make me a uh, constitution saving throw I have a feeling you'll you'll make it as it Let's spurts see. out a uh, bunch of spores in Holly's face what's the DC just roll it <laughs> Oh, definitely gonna make him. Let's see. Oh, the concept was only seven. Okay, so that that has a possibility of that failure. Daisy was eleven. <laughs> that could have potentially been bad though, being stunned. Yeah. Runt, uh, grunts. Comes up here. This is gonna uh, just want to get out of here. Recklessly attacks. Nine points of damage. Gonna uh, frenzy. Ooh, frenzy. Oh, wait a minute. You can choose. When you're you can choose frenzy. One section of each group turns after this. Oh, it's after this one. No, I'm gonna call it the same one that you go into a rage. You should get a frenzy attack. Oh, no, no. But, because they use the bonus action to enter your rage, you can't, so. Yep. Uh, Drow Sports or Rage? I forgot heads. to uh, actually put in their roll. Wait, put them on here. Should have been a five. That's okay. Goes up here. That's uh no, it's gonna gonna go up here see me. that's its turn <laughs> yeah. at a dash all right I'm gonna do a quick uh, resort so I got everybody in the right place Jim jar is uh, that was that was good actually hmm. I'm gonna wait 
Uh, he's gonna come up to this one. This round. and kills it. <laughs> yeah, because he can, he's going to quickly move up. Where was he? Four. Two first. Ten feet. Yeah, he can get 30 feet. Make his uh, offhand attack. Bonus action. Well, it should have been with advantage, but that's okay. And he kills this one. Ellis, being everybody dead, it's gonna rush up here, attack this mic in. Uh, misses. Lyra. You will swing into position. And attack. Wait a minute, hold on. Before before your turn. Okay, at the end of Jindar's turn. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. All you get Eighteen. As the corpse of this drow serpent bursts, causing five points damage on Durandel and Elvis. Holly takes two points of damage. Was Gore awful and acid erupt from the corpse? Bursting and hitting enemies within 10 feet. What kind of damage is it? Acid? Uh, I'll go. It's acid damage, yes. I'll take one. Alright, now it's, it, it's your turn. She is acid resistant. What did you not see? So I swung around and hit with a crit. Oh, that's right. And you know what that means. Ooh, nice little polymorph. The, so the damage happens before the polymorph? I, that's your call. 
I'm gonna say the damage has to hit the uh, hit, so. So do you wanna roll the D twenty or should I? Uh you roll the D twenty. More fun that way. Okay. Come on. Oh, I did it already. It was a four. And a four is <laughs> a giant scorpion. <laughs> is this a polymorph towards you or the the thing? It's towards this Yes to brood broad thing. Okay. If it's able to be polymorph. <laughs> so I went from a gurgling mass of, of shrooms to a giant scorpion all of a sudden. <laughs> Seeing that, so I was like, oh my god, kill it, get it away. Ooh, actually, I forgot. I really get to do this. With the green flame blade that I did, um, the fire leaps over to the other thing next to him. Does 8 damage. As you stab into the creature. It suddenly transforms into a uh, scorpion and kind of like puts you back a little bit. Um, uh, but it does look like the, the blade did a little bit of damage to it. Uh, and a fire nice. leaps over to the Mike and Ed killing it. Right, and then she'll swing again. For 26 for 12. And then she will... Which way do I want to go? Let's swing back in this direction. Got it. Okay. Alright, so Scorpion's firm. Scorpion does... Clack, clack. And it's gonna try striking Holly. The claw. Twenty-two hit Holly. Yes. Okay. Yep. She is currently grappled by the scorpion claw and takes uh, nine points of damage or four. Just she's raging. And makes a claw attack on Runt. Uh, misses. And does a thing on the creature behind him. So, Syra misses. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. Lassiter, big mass of mushrooms is now a giant scorpion. Yeah, um, I feel like this seems a bit worse. <laughs> um, so I was like, it's not my fault. <laughs> is Rot the only one that's hurt? I mean, he's I think probably the most hurt. Yeah, I don't think I, I, I don't think Ron's hit points are correct here. Oh. I want to check something quickly. I don't remember him being that hurt. 
Um, he's, he's, uh, I don't think uh, that's right. That's not right. He was full health. He hasn't been hit yet. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Prince is hurt. But he's only missing five. Right? Yeah, he's a, he's not missing much. There is his head splittingly dead. Yeah, he's uh, lying on the ground. He's now like seems like the fungus are starting to uh, turn him into compost. Right. Uh, so I will move on over here uh, and do a little Eldritch Blast. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Fourteen damage. Twenty Nine hits. Eleven damage. All right, this scorpion is looking too good. Um, uh, this one's dead. I will, uh, mm -hmm. have, what's his name, Little Borcat, mm -hmm. um, go fly over to Ceres and just st stay on her, or neck or something. Him? Huh? Him? Little Borcat flies over, kind of like, starts examining the mushroom pile. No, no, uh, did I say Ceres? I, I meant Syra. Oh, okay. Flies over to, to Syra and help her out? Yeah. Um, okay. my idea is if she gets hurt, I can, uh, do a cure wound through her, through him. Sounds good. He's dead. He's dead. Prince Daredevil is alive. Was that one guy the only thing that uh, uh, died and caused like a spore cloud or whatever it was? Uh, yeah. Only the one that has exploded. Did he so look <laughs> like? Worse than the others, and like fungus. No, you think he he exploded because of some external force. His advantage, because of flanking rules. It's turned no. Oh, miss. Uh, but he's gonna spend a key point. And uh, flurry of blows. And I'll hit. Six points. That'll miss. Needless to say, I uh, broke off some of its chitin. Next to Syra, kind, of, kind of breathe in. Rawr! And plot armor, um, plot armor modder, modder, modifier of a plus 20. Because <laughs> I want Stool to get a hit and it just seems like fun. Yeah, the Bonk! Onto the scorpion. And does. One point of damage, because I did minimum points of damage. Plus. Uh, 
He does four points of damage. Why? Because of plot. And it kills it. So, nice. so, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> see, see, see if this works. So Stool runs over, and he goes, and he, he like, bops the uh, uh, scorpion, just as Holly's doing her swing. Like they do it simultaneously. Yeah. Usual wombo combo. Okay. Eleven second hit. Go for number two. There we go. Fifteen. That's that hits. There you go. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Tell me if Holly's a good good with this. So stool runs over. Holly, it's at the exact same time that Holly makes a swing, but just like the ankle's all wrong and just kind of skids across the scorpion's uh, uh, titan. Lifts up the axe again, swings it down just as stool comes up and goes, bop. And it, there, it's kind of like at the the same point, and the skull cracks, and and you notice that Stool's eyes are actually closed when he he successfully bops. The head of the scorpion gets cut in two, and it and uh, the uh, scorpion uh, dissipates and turns into a pile of fungus. And Stool still has his club down while Holly kind of picks up her, her axe. Stool opens his eyes and is like, I did it! I did it! I did it! I cast Healing Word. The monster. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, that's okay. douchey. Dustin's fine with that. Holly? Oh. <laughs> How's Holly? Well... Being that the she is the strongest, wisest, smartest, fastest, and most beautiful person she knows, I feel like she would try to still take credit for it. Alright. <laughs> That's all like Dustin's fine with it. Uh, so so Holly makes a Okay. It wasn't you. It was me. Flip. <laughs> Hair flip. And still just goes meanie. Anybody want to say stool who's looking kind of chuffed. I'm gonna go uh, investigate Saris. Alright, give me your investigation check. Crad will pat the stool on the head. It's like, you did it. Eleven. Uh, there's a bunch of red mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you see uh, his equipment? Uh, he had, there was, uh, some arrows, uh, he had a short sword, he had a longbow, uh, some leather armor. Can I do a medicine check to nope. make sure he's actually dead? Um, I mean, if you want to make a medicine check, DC 5. Yeah, yeah um... It's hard to tell, but considering all there is is like bones and dust and fungus, uh, yeah, he's probably dead. Great. Uh, dust? How long? What? 
It's fungus. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, he was. He it was. It was like uh, accelerated decay or something like that. Okay. He's, right now, he's a red combo compost heap. Okay. Do we uh, know? Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, since we just destroyed this little undead plot, um, I was going to send Sova up into the air just to see if I switch vision to look down into this area to see if there's something changed from here. No change. Okay, just make sure there's not people running at us or, you know. Um, uh, is Karad visible? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll go up to Karad, ask him, uh, what was, what was up with the uh, lady that you killed? She asked to die. She asked? Yeah, I, I told you all what she said. She wanted oh, you to did. die. Okay. I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I... I, um... Exposited it. Okay, my um, bad. Um, I mean, still, especially uh, in the Underdark, it's very... To go in a way that you... Like, this... Especially unwanted. We could've... You know, tr tried to help her, at least. By not ending her life. But it was her wish. She was crazy. It's not crazy to want to die. When death is a better situation than what you might currently be in. I think she was at a point of no return. I think this might have been the kindness for her. Um, when? Mm hmm. Um, 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 um. I feel like this would be a good time for Lasseter to do those wisdom check things. Sure. Honestly. Uh, I forgot how to do that. Sanity checks, not wisdom. Oh, is is it a wisdom save or or is it a sanity? Um, it's a wisdom saving throw. Uh, it feels a little rough for you because everything is really weird but something kind of something about must have been something about it turning into a scorpion um start reconciling things but it's still kind of weird but that's about it okay mm -hmm. all right uh gage is searching through some of the stuff of the uh woman And finds a few things. Uh, he finds a, so a, a set of studded leather armor. Looks to be of drow make. Uh, as well as a short sword of drow make. Uh, a bag. She turns inside out and uh, two scroll cases drop out. Also finds forty, what looks to be about forty days rations and three hundred and twenty silver pieces. Not seeing those scrolls, I guess I will ask to see them, if, if I may. He hands them to you. And what are they? 
And this is Gage that's looking at it. <laughs> Here you are. Uh, you look at them and it, you can easily like undo the scrolls and actually like visually read it. Uh, you got one for remove curse and one for spired line. Mm. Neat. You can hear some so. sound and movement coming from the cavern to the northeast. Let's um. go. I'll lead, I guess. So it seems like I was right. Zuckmoy does have connections to this place. Maybe she's trying to build up a an undead army using this place with their they're undead. Or I guess they're freshly dead. Might be. I mean, Dawnbringer seemed to, to have some extra effect on on the uh, spore servants. So there seem to be a type of undead, but they're not like your typical like zombies and ghosts and stuff like that. So weird little thing. Seem to be more controlled by the spores than that's where he goes investigates Echoes spill from the misty cavern beyond, a cacophony of wheezing noises that wrap together with some kind of discordant music. The remaining heads planted in the Garden of Welcome begin to croak and groan, joining the horrible song. Through the mist that shrouds the smaller cavern, you see the, see the parade of creatures res responsible for the melody. Their bodies are only vaguely humanoid, with clusters of luminescent lichen and trans... Uh, and Luminescent growths form, forming chaotic patterns on their decaying flesh. Their voices stabbing into your minds, both insane and gleeful in equal parts. From rocky bed the toadstool rise, from chaos dark her love she shows. Wish, yearn, laugh, the lady will wed. Crave, hunger, dance, her joyous spores will spread. Youth is gone, beauty rots. Our Marcos and Zukmoy join together heart to heart, become one till death do part. Hail, hail, hail. The entourage uh, contains. Twelve plant-like creatures and six larger plant-like creatures, medium size, and then six larger, larger ones. All of which are lost in a reverie. They be, seem to be conducting an obscure, obscene ritual of some sort, like a parody of a wedding ceremony. Uh, I'll keep on going cautiously. They're coming towards you, by the way. Oh, never mind. Um, I stop where I am. Do I have a? I don't actually have any icons. Do you just kind of let them walk past? Can I see them? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't have 
the tokens? I don't know why it's not really showing me the tokens. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. They're down here. No wonder I couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. They're here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just let that pass by. I don't I don't want anything to do with that. Do they look like they're interested at all in, in us or just uh, if conflict? you leave them alone, it doesn't look like they they do anything. They just kind of come at it. So the tableau the mock wedding is replaced by a vision inside side of a great tower. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, during this, uh, um, let's see, does it say this? They, uh, what looks to be a mock wedding, the, uh, big old mushroom creature that you slew is picked up by what looks to be, like, two of the, uh, uh, smaller creatures and moves to the front where there's one of the smaller creatures and one of the larger creatures. And they kind of, uh, weaken at Bernie's him. As they act out what seems to be a mock wedding. And they just look like they're trying to reanimate him again? No, they're just puppeting him. Ooh, what is this? What's what's happening here? As you're watching, uh, the tableau of the mock wedding, wedding is replaced by a vision of inside of a great tower. Spiring stairs and balconies are carved into its walls, with the interior lit by phosphorescent passage, patches of mold growing in whorls. In the center of the open space floats a humanoid figure, woman-like in form, but made entirely of fungi and mold. She is easily three times the height of the fungal bridesmaids that move up and down the spiraling stairs, tending to their giant mistress. They croon a strange, soothing song as they weave the substance of the giant figure into delicate lichen veils and a long mycelium train, like a bridal gown. Vision ends when it looks like the ceremony is done. And the Creatures file solemnly back to a giant mushroom in the back. Did everyone see that? I need everybody to roll me a wisdom saving throw. No, I don't like those. No. like the only two that failed were Prince Darendel and Gabe. I mean, oh no, Gage.
I have to consult so many things. Bear with me. Gage starts battling incoherently inco uh, for 20 minutes. And Prince Sterendel can't seem to speak. So we're running over to Gage and for a couple days. Put put her hands on his shoulders, kind of like, what's wrong with you, Gage? What, what's what's going? What's happening? Nobody give it. Lasseter, there's something wrong with him. Hey, what do you want me to do about this? Oh. One moment. I do. Ooh, can I try um, lesser restoration on him? You can certainly try. I will, I will cast it with a pack thingy. Hmm. You cast lesser restoration on him. Nothing seems to happen. I, I knew that was going to happen, but, you know, I wanted it to be a good teammate. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you spec that uh, maybe a greater restoration, but uh, how about that? I don't have that. Because hmm, somebody hasn't been leveling cleric. Because he keeps asking his DM to choose. <laughs> I don't like decisions. Um, uh, I don't know what to do about this. Uh, let them go through it, I guess. Yeah, I think you've had a, at one, one point in time, somebody else had the same thing and it wore off after a while. Yeah. Um, Holly? I don't know. Uh, I hope you're fine. What about that vision? Did, we all saw the same thing, didn't we? Sure, we did. I'm, I don't know what it Gage was. just kind of like shrugs. Um, I'm going to do my rounds, checking up on people, see how they are. Just in general, just I just need to know like the state of everyone. That kind of show you the little creatures. So this humanoid figure that we saw, we we met Zuckmoy, didn't we? Did we? I mean, you never met her before, like in person. Do do uh, we just passed by her servants or like her followers, but we never actually met her <clears throat> in person. No, I think this might have been the first time you've ever actually seen her in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so I was gonna confirm with Stool. Like, is do you know anything about Suckmoy? What was that? What we saw? I'm just a little sprout. I've never seen anything like that. I actually have never seen any of those like creatures that did the thing, whatever that thing was. I'm not sure what ritual that was. Not familiar with it. It was like they were acting out a wedding. It's a wedding. <clears throat> What? That's what a wedding was. I don't know what a wedding oh. is. Oh. Okay. 
uh, well, a wedding is when, uh, one person loves a, uh, another enough to destroy their life. <laughs> Why would anybody, lo like, love people and try to destroy their, the, the person's life? I don't know, it's one of those things that people do. Just love them so much. Don't ever fall in love, uh, Spool. You're weird. Alright, um... What are we doing? This is... I'm kinda scared. I don't, I don't know what happened. It was weird. Should we go back? We go back, talk to Basidia to let her know what's going on. And Honestly, I really wouldn't be. Um, um, I did she like just leaving? I get the feeling we were sent up here to to be their next uh, reanimated spawn. Yeah, I think getting well, out of Basidia here. Basidia didn't be... know what was up here. Do we report back to her and like? Like I, I don't know. It, I I think that vision was in that thing, and he points to a giant mushroom in the northeast. I think if it's if if we do report back, we should do it discreetly. I, I, I don't I don't want to get safe. I think we need our. No. I'll probably stick with Bron the city because, 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 uh, um, I want to be with my people. Not, not to say that uh, I don't like joining with you guys, but, you know, I, I kind of belong here and, like, like, you guys want to go to the surface, so you're going to go to, like, what, to Bling Blingden Stone or something? Yeah, that, that's the idea. Wait, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure to say if, if people can, 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 can help, help like, uh, lead you to bling and stone. Here. You're gonna stay here, Stool? Well, I, well I, I would stay with Basidia. I mean, we, yeah, we might go, like, follow you to bling and stone, kind of, like, show you where it is, but then we'll probably go off on our own. I won't Here's what I can do. So, Basilia is made aware without any others knowing what's going on. <clears throat> okay, she you uh get a whispered back says um uh, meet me by the cir circle of the explorers. I will get Labamod and and meet you with Rasharu and we'll get out of here. I let them know, everyone know. Great. Let's go. Exposition! Exposition. Best cantrip ever! Circle Explorers. I think that was like... Up here. It was one of the corners. That was with... I wrote it down. I think I wrote it down. Leader of the Hunters. Watching the Newborns, the Growers, the Builders. Welcomers. Oh damn, that's the one I missed. I have everyone else's names. I have your your B Rop. I might be destroying these names. I'm pretty sure I'm destroying these names. He bo 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 and Gasby. Gaspide. Gaspide mm -hmm. was the circle of builders that 
seemed Ooh. to be a little suspicious that I wrote down. And Lou Bomb Loop. Lubamba was the circle of hunters. Alright, so. So, what are you doing? You can go meet with the circle of explorers. We can get the hell out of here. Didn't right. they say meet them somewhere? Yeah, we were going to meet, meet with them so we can get out of here. So I assume we all go? Yeah. I don't know where, like on the map. To the south. Over here? Okay. Nope, south. Down here. South. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Well, I said Rasheru. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say everybody is. So, uh, you, appro you approach the, the mound. You see um, a good chunk of... Um, of of myconids are surrounding the mound. Uh, it looks like it's two full circles. You recognize uh, Lubamud, uh, the uh, leader of the circle of, of hunters, and Rashru, the leader of the circle of explorers. They seem to be uh, it, a, a little nervous. As you see, also see uh, Sovereign Basidia standing over. When she sees it, she motions you. You over, uh, bursts out a uh, cloud of uh, rapport spores, and she says, Something tells me that it'll be easier to leave here. Um, we must be going. I'm sorry, Stool, you came, you returned only for this to happen. Happen. Uh, I'll, I'll come with you, I'll help you. I've learned so much while, while here. Uh, if, um, 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 I can I can do things now. I think I can be a great help. When I get bigger, I'll be even more help. That's good to hear, young one. Come, let us leave. And uh, you easily make your way out of Neverlight Grove. Oh, it's good to run. In it's the company really of good. two circles of the Mykonid from Neverlight Grove. Um, did we ever uh figure out why uh Sarah went on mushroom? Uh, it seemed to have happened when the big fungal larva guy uh, uh started attacking. With his minions. Oh. To somehow be connected. But how how would had uh Sarath gotten uh, infected? He got infected like a while ago. Yeah, but he how? was just like he was worsening over time. Oh. He seemed to have been. Something seemed off about him, like, well before you even left Vulcan Delve. Oh. Okay. So all that was just connected. Mm -hmm. to each other. Okay. Okay, cool beans. You have one less party member, and you will soon have two. Unless we kidnap Stool against his will. You say, you say, when when two of the player, uh, when the DM and one of the players are wearing a consensus my four play shirt, <laughs> I find humor in that. 
But without okay. stool, he, he, what will our 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 map marker be? I mean, he's he's currently with you for right now. I mean, you could also change your names from Wayfaring Strangers to like Stools Heroes or something like that. Want to? The stool Stompers. Yeah, maybe not Stoppers. <laughs> um. All right, let's get to Blending Stone. So as we're walking, I wanted to ask, um, Mycidia. Mycidia. Did yep. you, did you, did you see a vision, not too long ago? Uh, no. I think the only people who may have seen that vision were those who witnessed that mock ceremony. I think I think all this was tied to to Zuckmoy. When people of the Underdark is, are in grave danger, the Demon Lord is within our midst. The thing, mm. there's only one. I I describe what what we saw as far as like the uh, the tower and the spiraling staircase. Like, do you do you know of a place like that? Hmm. Based off the description, uh, maybe in that lounge mushroom, uh, people, they have been calling it, calling it Igmorgus. Y-G-G-M-O-G. -G -G. So back, so back in Neverlight Grove, that's, that's where the, where she was residing? Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> Even better reason to get out of there <laughs> quickly. Either way, I wonder. Once we. By the way, this is the creature you saw. Hmm. He's pretty. pretty. I like her hair. It's very fierce. <laughs> when the actual uh, nice looking ones. Can I? Oh yeah, you you would have uh, seen this in a different vision uh, a couple of sessions ago. We saw the Demogorgon. He's less pretty. Have you seen the other ones? <laughs> well, is that? So, and I just uh, uh the uh, Rashiru uh, says, uh, we have we have made trips close to Blingbinstone. We can guide you directly there. And where Is that will your you next, go afterwards? Next exit? Where 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 are where you planning to go? Home. Oh. To the surface? Yeah, we were via Blingbinstone. Yes. Yes, Blingbinstone would be you be. Will probably be your best bet. And we also had some other business in that town too. Oh man! Uh, we are... Did we did we already um do that favor <clears throat> uh, that that one merchant guy asked us to do? Work no, wants it... us to deliver a sack of unknown contents to Kazook Pickshine. Oh. 
Yeah, not that he, guy. He but he's down. Down. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly paid handsomely. All right. All right. Let me take a look here. Is Rasher. Uh, it take about uh, ten day and a half to get there. Fifteen days, okay. No, a little longer. So okay, ten day and close. a half. Yeah, ten day and a half. A little, little bit longer than ten day and a half. Maybe like sixteen. <laughs> It was, uh, by the time you or everybody got together and, and to exit out of, uh, Neverlight Grove, uh, it had been probably about, um, it, you were probably about mid-afternoon, so you probably have a, a good half day's travel in amongst you, um, which with the explorers, you can, you can, uh, travel at a decent pace. And uh, pretty safely, and you find a good place to camp for the evening. The two circle, the two circles actually seem to form a bigger circle uh, with Basidia. Uh, Stool joins them, and says, hey, uh, "We're we're gonna we're gonna do the meld thing. They're gonna allow me to do it. I haven't done it yet. This is all excited." And st stay over here. Just leave us alone. We'll be fine. Um, you'll be fine. He runs over to to join the circles in their melting. I'm um, I'm gonna be uh, away from that. I don't want to get any on me. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. or anything. Um. I actually think this is actually a great place to stop, uh, because also it means you gain another level. Do -do -do -do. So everybody is level nine, right? Yep. That means I gain my anime spell. Oh. What? The, the most anime spell of all spells. It's the anime spell that, that you got. Um, let's call it this one. Whenever anyone says anime spell, I think of, of like Shadow Clone Jutsu or something. Oh no, this is this is the most anime of spells here. I can make it. If I can make it pop up. Oh, let me. Play as TTY. Yeah. Let me do this. And this. And that. And that. Oh, still one strike. Okay. Teleport behind people, stab them. Cool. Nothing personal, kid. When? Hmm. Warlock or cleric? Let's go cleric. I mean, you can't make this decision on your own. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna go Warlock instead, then. Okay. You don't want to get closer to the Greater Restoration spell, which seems actually probably something that might be helpful. What Holly, now has, Holly now has access to Brutal Criticals. I get another Eldritch Elf inv Invocation if I level up more long. And... Uh... Take a long rest. Yeah, all uh, Gage got was indomitable. But can be Not helpful. Bad. Will didn't get anything from leveling to five, besides access to another spell. Yeah. <laughs> Pred only got access to level five spells, but I took the most the best one that he could probably take. What was that? Let's see. It's very on par for him. <whistles> Summon Draconic Spirit. Yeah, that sounds fair. It's on par for him. It's a, it's a good one. That flock's good. Iconic spirit always looks like a chunky boy dragon. And for some reason, I get like the image of the Ifrit Eggy from Final Fantasy XIV. I suppose that's right. Well. I'm going to end that there. I think part of this is I want to get started on my uh, uh, five-day uh, uh, near uh, uh, Independence Day celebration. So uh, I'm going to have to say that's really just partly my uh, own thing. So I'm going to end the stream here. Fun. Thank you for watching. Two hours? That's not bad. Almost two hours. <laughs>